Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today I'd like to show you how to record both wet and dry signals simultaneously from an 11 rack into Studio One. I'm going to demonstrate this by recording bass guitar by going directly into my audio interface with both wet and dry signals. Now I'm using bass for this demo, but of course this will work with guitar as well. Let's take a look at how I have the 11 rack connected. The 11 rack is TRS cabled from left and right main outs to input 7 and 8 on the Studio 192. This allows me to record in both mono and stereo into Studio One. To set up for dry track recording, I use the 11 rack's output to amp jack and connect it to an instrument input on my audio interface. So let's dive into it. First, you'll need to configure your 11 rack to send dry signal or rig input to the output amp jack. Rig input means the signal coming from the bass before it hits the 11 rack rig. In the 11 rack editor, you'll select user options and change the number one two amp position to rig input. This corresponds to the output to amp jack on the front of the 11 rack. You can also configure the output to amp number one by using the 11 rack's onboard editor. You simply select output to amp number one and configure it for rig input. You'll need to adjust the gain on the two output number one on the 11 rack and the gain on your audio interface channel to ensure optimal recording levels. Now that the 11 rack is configured, you can connect the output to amp number one jack with the instrument input on your audio interface. You could also use the output to amp number two jack, which is on the back of the 11 rack, but it would be kind of a pain in the neck to run the cable around to the front to connect to the instrument port on my Studio 192. And now we plug the bass into the 11 rack and we're ready to record. We have two tracks set up for the wet 11 rack signal and one track set up for the dry signal, all coming from the Studio 192. I'll be using tracks one, two, and five for this recording. I'm going to switch on some chorus, delay, and reverb so we can really hear the difference between the wet and the dry signal. And with the tracks armed, we're ready to record. Now let's play this back and I'll toggle between the wet and the dry so you can hear the difference. And now we have a clean, dry bass signal ready for any type of processing we want when we get to our mixing phase. Thanks for watching and I hope this information was helpful. Please don't hesitate to post questions in the comments below or email me at the address listed here. If you like what you saw, please take a second to click the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching and good luck with your home studio.